Run again, run again. It's coming off. Welcome, welcome to another Saltwater Junkie video. Well, catch me now as I'm just winding down a session. I've been out here since first light. We've had a little bit of action as well, which we'll get to see. And um, I'm probably not going to stay for much longer. The tide's starting to drop now. And um, I think it'll be time for me to go soon. But I was here a couple of days ago and that the contrast and the conditions then it was crystal clear and really calm and sunny and like I say it's total contrast today it's the wind's got up the water's been fairly coloured although I've been sort of trying to find the clearer areas that seemed to be the way to go in the end but um, yeah been another interesting session and um, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> right, here we go, we're down to the mark. It's about seven in the morning and uh, it's not like it was a couple of days ago. <laughs> it's a lot rougher today. But just looking along here, just in front of me, Probably won't pick it up on the GoPro, but I'm sure I can see like a rip, a rip current. Oh, I'm just going to leave my net there. And I'll try, have a, have a cast or two on that. Probably worth a shot. Got a Samson's 30 gram uh, enticer tweak bait or subsurface tweak bait. This is how I like to work these enticers. Just tap it. If you speed up, it will come along the surface, but you can sort of just keep it slowed down, just enough to sort of keep it down in the water. After this, I think, this will be switching to something with a rattle. Come on, Mo, one, SF125, Pearl Candy. Let's give that a try. Start. No 
weed on the lure. That's a good sign. Speak of the devil, we've got a bit of salad there. Ah, straight away into a little weed. There's one of those. One of those, um, I don't know what they are. Like an egg or something, like a little jelly ball. I've seen them on social media. I don't know. I could say I haven't blanked, but it doesn't really count. Funny, I've seen a few about those about this year. I've never noticed them before though. down these barbs. I've gone for this, I thought I'd give this nice bright yellow one a, a go. Because the water is getting quite coloured now and I've done quite well with oh, yellow and orange lures in dirty water so there we go. Here I am at last, got a bass on.
<laughs> oh dear. Oh. Let's just get a quick wait while he's there. Uh don't turn off. So there we go guys, there's a beautiful golden coloured bass there and you know what that was first cast on first cast on the blue and pink zonk would you believe it would you believe it I'm not going to hold him out anymore because uh, I want to get fishing but there we go. Nice fish at last. I knew there was some fish here. I knew it. Just shows you, doesn't it? Come on. There he goes. He's good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so there we go, folks. That was a bit chaotic. Sorry, I couldn't get you on the on the main camera. I just wanted to get him back pretty quickly, but yeah. First cast on the blue back pink belly Zonk Gator ride. Been out here flogging away all morning on white and. In, um, in, in that sort of shade and then stick that on and that was just a completely on a whim as well I just sort of thought you know what if he had it first cast hopefully that means there's some more in there <laughs> Again. It's coming off. Oh, he's come off. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> another one on then. Oh, you're in again. Oh, it's like suddenly going off, yeah. We've got weed.
excitement. amazing it I just before that last one came off I just it was really sort of thrashing really hard and I just had a feeling it was going to pop off just as it did they want the more natural sort of colour like I say these lumps have a hell of a lot of vibration anyway so even though the water's coloured I'm sure they'll know it's there even if it's not a bright colour this one so it's getting a bit shallow out there now That's the best time, I think. Oh, it's dropping again. company <laughs> fish but the one I landed more than made up for it. At the beginning of the session I didn't really have any confidence in red bellied lures but after that flurry of action I can't wait to use them again. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, then please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.